There goes the head. Oh, the flamethrowers work. Look at that. Wait, where's the horse going? Oh, he's so scared of what I've created here. Come on, fight me. Oh, no. Look at the flamethrowers go, and he's down. Yep, that guy really has seen some stuff. <laughs> some really disturbing stuff. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. The Halloween update is here, and we got a new unit. And that unit is Headless Hulk. And here he is right here. Pretty terrifying. Yep. Scary stuff. So this fella is actually part of the Infernals units. So yeah, there he is right there. He is $85. I am yet to see this guy in action. I have saved it for this video right here. So I have absolutely no idea what he's going to do. I'm guessing he doesn't have any crazy special attacks. He's probably just going to use this giant knife here. And as you saw, we have Coward Co over here, our test subject. But just before we start the fight, I want to quickly show you a size comparison. So as you can see, Headless Hulk here is still pretty large. Much bigger than Coward Co, that's for sure. Now, the developers for ARPS have also said that there's going to be a pretty big update around Christmas time. And there's also going to be a new flying unit coming out very soon. So if you want to see that from me, make sure you click that subscribe button as I'll be making many more videos like this one. Anyway, let's see what he's like in action. All right, so he's pretty slow. I'm guessing that's because he hasn't got a head. Oh, he froze his head. Oh, what the? No, no way. I was not expecting that. He actually froze his head and just picks it up again. What? That's crazy. He didn't even get to use the meat cleaver. Oh, poor coward co. So to really check out the new unit, we need to spawn in a much stronger unit. So we have the knockout artist gorilla. Let's see if he's capable of taking down headless Hulk over here. Right, there goes the head. There goes the attack. Whoa, that's some crazy moves right there. Oh, the head seems to be struggling to attack the... The ape here, the gorilla. Oh, there we go. He's chomping on his leg. Oh, no. And here comes Hulk now with the cleaver. Oh, I think he just hit his own head as well. And just like that, the gorilla is down. How much damage did it do to him? Oh, wow. He's taken barely any damage. You know what? This guy could be really strong, actually. Now it's time for the T-Rex test. There is no way Hulk is winning this fight. All right, there goes the head. So when the T-Rex... Oh, jeez, Hulk's been thrown. So if the head takes damage, does that mean Hulk over there also takes damage? I don't know how it works, but he's been thrown. Oh, no. Oh, he's getting messed up right now. Oh, oh, that was a skull. I thought that was his head for a second there. Right, let's see. Look how much damage the T-Rex has actually taken. He's actually not doing too bad here. All right, come on. Yes. Now we've got the meat cleaver going into the tail here. See, the head's just a massive distraction. Oh, no. And he is gone. All that's left is his head. You know what? I actually really like this Halloween update. This is such a great addition. It's pretty scary, too. I mean, it looks like he's taking some damage here to his gut. So moving on with any new unit that we get in the game I love to customize them and see what it's like just to change them up a little bit So I have a few ideas here since his head is actually off his body We could just go ahead and give him a different head such as well, maybe a, a t-rex Um, yeah, there we go <laughs> It looks ridiculous, but, you know, we can just add whatever we want here instead. All right, there we go. And the other thing that I want to try out is can we add spikes to his actual head? And then that way, when he throws it, it's just like a giant uh, spike ball thing. Now, I reckon the bone spikes would probably look best with this. And now I have... Oh, you can't attach anything to it. No, that's such a shame. It would have been so cool to see like a, a spike ball be in front of the enemies. Oh, man. Well, that's annoying. But either way, we can still go ahead and customize this guy in different ways, such as spiked nipples. Yep. We're sticking with that. But anyway, let's actually make this guy a little bit more scary. Make him just a little bit more powerful. And then we're going to see him in action. Maybe give the T-Rex some glowing eyes. Make it more scary. Spooky Halloween-y. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty scary. But I wonder what happens if you combine the flames. Okay. Oh, that does look pretty cool, actually. The green and the uh, the yellow there. So right now, I am currently adding some armor to this guy. We've got some shoulder pads going on. We got a big plate on the back, big round shield thing. I don't know what that is, but you know what? We're sticking with it anyway. See, just imagine we can actually add stuff to the head. We can give him shades. See, I'm clicking right now. Nothing is happening. I mean, then again, we could always give the T-Rex head some shades, but I'm not going to do that. So often when I play ARBs, I get carried away with what I'm creating. And yeah, this is the upgraded Headless Hulk. And you know what? He doesn't look too bad. There's quite a bit of armor on him now. He also has flamethrowers 
on his meat cleaver, as you can see. I haven't tried them out yet, so I don't even know if they work or not. T-Rex head as well, which of course has been modified. He's got some spikes on him, glowing eyes, and the spiked helmet there. I've also added some skulls, some upside down skulls, as you can see. This guy's wearing glasses for some reason. And yeah, just a bunch of other stuff. So let's actually see this guy in action. And also, I feel like he needs an official name. So feel free to leave your best name suggestions in the comment section down below, along with your suggestions. Here comes a horse rider. Let's see what happens here. There goes the head. Oh, the flamethrowers work. Look at that. Wait, where's the horse going? Oh, he's so scared of what I've created here. Where's he going? Come on, fight me. Oh, no. <laughs> He's chomping on the horse. Oh, that is so disturbing. <laughs> go, attack. Use those flamethrowers. That's it. Swing. Look at the flamethrowers go. And he's down. I feel like that was the flamethrowers. That did all the work there, pretty much. And of course, the head. Yep, that guy really has seen some stuff. <laughs> some really disturbing stuff. So the horse and its rider was a little bit too easy. So we're going to send in... Goru the Giant. Now, I'm going to be honest. I think Goru is going to win this one pretty easily, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Right, here we go. Listen to that roar. You just know that the Headless Hulk is going to get messed up. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. He's been impaled by the spikes. Look at Hulk. He's getting messed up right now. Come on. I need the backup of the head here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, he's bit his face. Come on. No, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. What is happening here? Is he okay? No, he's... Wait. No. No way did we win that one. He was so close to dying. Wait, you're telling me that what I've created here is more powerful than Goru? It's got to be those flamethrowers. I mean, it's probably a mix of everything, really. The spikes, the armor, and of course, the head doing a lot of damage. Maybe we need another infernal unit. So I'm going to send in the scourge unit here just to see what happens. I mean, he might be able to impale the head when he rolls it towards him. Here we go. There goes the head. Use the spikes. Yes, he did exactly that. I just realized the head also gets bigger. It does. It increases in size. I had no idea about that. Oh, there we go. He's got his knees. That's it. Oh, big punch. Oh, I wonder what... Oh, we lost big time there. So if the head falls out of the map, does that mean Hulk dies as well? I have no idea. So what I'm doing now is saying Headless Hulk, our upgraded version, a little challenge. Let's see if this guy can take down everyone inside the fort. So yeah, it must be very, very scary for these guys seeing Headless Hulk come towards them like this. Let's see if he can actually pull it off. Right, here we go. He's thrown the head straight away, going for those Spartan warriors. These archers could be a bit of an issue though. Oh, wait, what? He's dead? How did he die? Oh, I think it's because the head died. So if the head takes so much damage, then he just dies. I mean, that, that does make sense, I guess. But don't worry because I have a plan. We're gonna send in an army of headless hoax. So as you can see, we got a smaller one here. Then we have a tiny one, which uh, seems like he's struggling to stand up. Then we have a giant headless hulk behind him. Um, well, another giant one here too, but not as big as that guy. And then finally, the mega headless hulk. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh no, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't realize he was like, doing that. That looks so weird. All right, well, clearly scaling him all the way up to five just doesn't really work. I guess his head just weighs too much. He just <laughs> it does that. Okay, well, anyway, we're about to see them all in action. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens here. All right, here we go. Throwing the heads. Oh, look at the size of that guy's head. That is insane. So the heads are now actually inside the fort, as you can see. I think the giant one is actually dead already. Probably died from the fall. All right, come on, guys. That's it. They're doing pretty good so far. Oh, look. The tiny one's still alive. Yes, get his kneecaps. Chop them off. <gasps> nice. He's done it. All right, he's moving in. Seems like these smaller headless hulks are actually having a much easier time taking them out. I actually really like the fact they're really slow as well. I know that sounds weird, but it makes them a little bit more scary than slowly going around just killing everyone. Right, so it's only the archers left. But as you can see, they are stupid and they're just fine there arrows into the ground and also headless hulk is also stupid because he has no idea where to go or what to do wait hang on a minute <laughs> look at their heads how are they even doing that that in itself is really spooky oh happy halloween everyone
Now it's time for war. So on that side, we have a bunch of headless hulks, all default values and all scaled to one. So there are the default values for everything. And then we have an ancient army over here. All right, fellas, prepare to fight. Here we go. Oh, oh, they've been messed up by those spears right there straight away. Oh, they're getting messed up. Whoa, look at them go. Wait, hang on a minute. Actually, I think the ancient army are losing this one, I think. They're distracted by their heads. Oh, here they come with the meat cleavers. Oh, no. This is one crazy fight. The archers are probably going to do a lot of damage to them as well. As you can see, they're on standby over here. Just shooting them from a distance as they should be. Oh, hang on a minute. Looks like we only got one left. The ancient army are going to win. Have they done it? Victory to the army. The ancient army have actually done it. Look at this knight with a bunch of arrows in his head. So these guys won the first time, but now they're about to fight again because on their team, they have the Hydra, two hill giants, and two wyverns. Now you might be thinking, well, if they won, why am I giving them some more units? And that's because I've also increased the size of their army as well. So we have all the infernals here as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I can't tell which side is going to win, actually. It it's probably got to be the Infernals, right? I mean, look how many we have here. And these are really powerful units as well. We've got two Scourge units, I think two Hellhounds. So yeah, their army looks pretty weak right now. But let's find out what happens. All right, start the war. Here we go. Come on, let's see who wins this time round. All right, this is actually insane. Oh, look, the Wyvern has a head. <laughs> He's stolen one of the heads. Of the headless hopes. Oh no, it's a little bit laggy. All right, the Hydra is still alive, of course. Definitely the most powerful unit on the ancient army side. We've got a flying man over there. Oh man, Infernals are definitely winning this one by a long shot. Look at them go. We've made them way too powerful. Of course they were going to win. Oh, look at them go. Right, who's still alive? Okay, the Wyvern's still around. Looks like the Hydra is down. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's so screwed. Wyvern down. Victory to the Infernals. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about lag because I have once again increased the army size on both sides. So now we have a bunch of gorillas. As you can see, we have Goru the Giant. In fact, we have him times two. We got T-Rexes, Purosaurus in the back there, Titanoboa, Spinosaurus, and even a couple of elephants for some reason. So I've also scaled up some of the units on the other team as well. Let the war begin. Oh man, that looks epic. Yes, fight. I don't know what the giants are doing. <laughs> it seems like they can't really move very well. Oh, look at this, the action. This actually looks incredible. All right, in comes a T-Rex. Gonna mess some of them up. Goru looks like he's after the Hellhound here. Oh, he's picked him up throwing him away. The Hellhound weighs a lot, so that just shows Goru's strength right there. Oh, slammed Headless Hulk. <laughs> it's the absolute carnage right now. Wow, flying skeleton. What the? <laughs> what is happening? This is actually crazy. Oh, look at the Hill Giant. Doesn't stand a chance against Headless Hulk. Okay, so I think... Our team might actually lose because I am technically on the Infernal side. It's gone a lot quieter since a lot of the units have now died. Purosaurus just got thrown by the Scourge unit there as well. Okay, well, it looks like we only got a couple more units left here. About to get messed up. Oh, Spinosaurus just chomped on him. And this poor fella is the last alive. About to get murdered. Gory's punching him in the feet. But you know what? It's still going to be very effective. And just like that, he is down. Nice. Now look at the war zone here. Look at the state of it all. So yeah, that was a pretty epic fight right there. So yeah, I have to say, I do actually really like this Halloween update. I like this unit. He's pretty cool and seems pretty powerful as well. But on that note, I am going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!